Hello everybody, this is George with Melnick Soda Motor. In this video, I'd like to show you how to paint silver, how to blend, and uh, obviously I have some new parts that we're going to be painting. So today, today uh, I'm going to show you, this is the 2015 Ford Fusion. When we're going to paint, obviously we have a new fender, which I'm going to show you in a second, it's an OEM fender. Uh, we want to make sure the color matches on our new panel and old panel. So I'll show you how to properly blend it and uh, also we have a little bit of body work on the hood how we can go ahead and take care of that and make the color match perfectly fine we want to make sure when we spray the silver so it's not blotchy the silver color is very hard to spray um, and uh, i'll show you in just a second so this is the job and i'm going to try to show you every single step of the way and i also have some new panels here this is my fender and the bumper cover and uh, those have been, that currently has an OEM primer and uh, I'm going to show you when we're going to seal them and we're going to use a gray sealer so we don't have to use a lot of paint to cover. Uh, I'm going to show you all the steps A through Z, uh, how to paint it so it doesn't flake because uh, you don't want to have a paint job that flakes uh, four months, six months later. So uh, first thing we're going to have to do, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go ahead, uh, going to have to go ahead and use uh, a pre-clean. We want to go ahead and use a solvent-based pre-clean, and then we're going to use a water-based pre-clean. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Do uh, to want to make sure we get all the residue and all the grease uh, from you know body oils from grabbing the fender. Uh, we went ahead and scuffed it with a gray scuff pad, and uh, I ran a DA on my vehicle and I ran uh, 800 grit on the hood and the uh, same thing on the door so um, first I'm gonna go ahead and pre-clean everything and I'm gonna show you um, in just a second alright we're gonna use a solvent based pre-clean And when we're going to spray silver, uh, in order for the metallic to sit right, we're going to use a slow reducer. And I'm going to hit it at about 30 PSI. So it's about two bars. Um, and you don't want to push it. You don't want to push it on silver because if you do it, what's going to happen, you'll get those blotches. Especially on the sun. Maybe you're not going to see it as much on, on the cloudy weather. But when it actually when the sun hits it from the right angle, you're going to see those blotches and the color don't look good. I'll tell you that. Like I said, this is solvent base. You want to make sure you get all the edges. Because if you touched it, I'm wearing gloves. But if you, you know, previously when I was cuffing, I didn't have gloves on. I'm sure the body oils and all that are on the fender. So I want to make sure all that stuff is perfectly clean. And we're going to go ahead and do every single panel with a solvent based pre-clean first. Also, if you taping off the car, and if you're going to use plastic, because I, um, it's good at, not all the plastics, the paint will stick. A lot of times, if you use a cheap plastic when you tape off the car, the base coat will uh, stick to the plastic for a minute once it flashes, and then you hit it with the second time, or the clear will flake off. So you want to make sure you either have a paper, the paper usually sticks or a right type of plastic. This plastic will not flake. So when my base coat overspray gets on it, when I'm gonna go ahead and clear it, it's not gonna flake off and get onto my clear. Very important, that step. So make sure you buy the correct type of plastic. You could even use paper, newspaper, if you don't have it, uh, the, the plastic, you don't have to go all pro, but it's a very important tip because you don't wanna have beautiful paint job and then getting a flake of base coat into the clear. Okay, right now I'm going to repeat all the steps with the water horn cleaner. That will get rock all the, the rest of the solvent that my stuff maybe was left on the wood. 
And uh, another good tip, if you're just doing something small, um, you don't really need like a paint suit, but if you're doing a little larger job in your garage, it would be important to get uh, some kind of fan because you will have a lot of fumes. And uh, my fan will be running in a minute. You will hear how loud it is. But, uh, and also respirators. You can pick one up for about 30 bucks in a paint suit. If you're, looking, if you're going for a cleaner paint job, you definitely want to have a paint suit because you will have, you could prep everything and you could have um, like a piece of dust fall off your clothes onto clear and then you have to rub it. We want to go for a finish where we don't rub. Okay, so we went ahead and uh, ran our pre-clean solvent based and water based. Next we want to go ahead and tack it with a sticky tack rag. This will collect all the linens and, and, and all the dust, we'll pick up all the dust before we prep, before we're going to put our base coat. This is, a, this is a one final wipe down. This will pick up all the dust from all the panels and you want to run them on all panels. But this will collect anything that I left behind with my, with my towel when I was pre cleaning it. This will pick it all up. And, uh, and make it perfectly fine and clean for our first coat of base. So we're going to go ahead and pack all the panels. I'm not going to show that, it's just a waste of time. And uh, back to our bumper. As you can see, we have two new panels, the bumper cover and the fender. Those will need to be sealed. Um, on the plastic, which I'm showing the bumper here, we're going to use, uh, before we apply base coat or sealer, we're going to use an uh, adhesion promoter, and there's different brands you could get. Uh, I'm not going to name the one I'm going to be using, but uh, you want to put a light coat of adhesion promoter before we're going to seal them with a gray sealer. And the reason I'm using the gray sealer, because my car is silver, I will not need as much base coat. Because it will take a lot of coats to go from black to silver. Because we want to make sure the shade is the same. So um, that will be the next step right now is uh, applying applying uh, adhesion promoter. One coat is enough. All right, we're gonna get, go ahead and put a first coat of adhesion promoter. We'll let it flash for about five to 10 minutes and we're gonna start sealing the panels. It's just an extra step that we do here to prevent flaking. Um, sealer is another coat that will prevent stone chips from chipping the paint. Because you don't want a stone chip chip the paint and then see a black bumper underneath. So even if the stone chip does occur, it'll be gray underneath. It will reflect the same color of the car. But this is just another step that prevents uh, the paint from flaking off. Uh, not every shop does this. It's just an extra step and I don't want to have somebody come back and complain about the paint job. So that's the reason I do this step. Not every paint body shop does that. So next we're going to go ahead and apply a gray coat of sealer. Alright guys, we're ready for sealer. Um, I'm going to kick on the fan because this will be a little, uh, there'll be a lot of overspray. So it'll be a little loud. I apologize for that. Uh, but. Uh, 
that's the next step. which uh, really it's half a quart, it's a one-to-one -one, uh, mix ratio, so I'll be able to do the hood, and the hood has been sealed previously, and uh, the door on the, the blend on the door, we don't need to seal that, that's uh, OEM finish, which is blending that. So I'm gonna take my camera back to the fender, I'm gonna show you, if you take all the steps, and as a matter of fact, as you can see, I, I, I splashed some water in the, you know, on the floor to prevent uh, from dust kicking up, 
and um, if you clean your booth and uh, your spray guns are nice and clean you'll be getting finishes like this I mean I'm not sure if my camera could uh, really do its justice but uh, it looks like there's not even one speck of dirt and I've seen this is not most expensive paint booth you could actually uh, make something like this yourself in your garage you just put uh, plastic or you, you know as long as the area is clean you can get this kind of finish and as a matter of fact it's flashing so it's flattening out right now but I just wanted to show you there's no dirt and paint just an OEM orange peel OEM style orange peel which should be there uh, when I'm done with this I'm also gonna take the camera and show you all the panels I'm gonna take the camera up to the bumper and show you how clean the bumper came to be in just about five minutes it will be ready because this stuff flashes pretty fast but uh, you could see how clean it is um, I'll show you how clean the job turns out it's all matter of taking all the steps if you cut corners you're not gonna get the results you want um, and uh, I know that from previous um, lessons I learned myself and uh, so that's what's going on so we're gonna give that another five ten minutes and uh, we'll start putting some base